Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So let me show you how to texture your avatar uh, in Substance Painter. This video is purely for beginners, and I will not be using multiple layers. This is all going to be done on one layer. But let me show you how to get started when it comes to texturing your avatar. So first, what we have to do is grab the body of your avatar. So you want to extend your avatar on the left side, select the body, and then on the right side, you know, select this body here, uh, scroll up, and you'll find this body here. You want to right click on it, show an explorer, right click, copy, and you're going to paste that onto your desktop. After that, we're going to boot up Substance Painter. Once we boot it up, we're simply going to uh, drag the FBX into this empty slot here. If it doesn't say 4K here, I would highly recommend it to set to 4K and just hit OK. And now we have our model in Substance Painter. So you zoom in with your scroll wheel. Uh, you move by holding down Alt and mouse one, you rotate around. Um, by holding down Alt and holding down the scroll wheel, you can move uh, basically around. Uh, and uh, Alt and right click is to zoom in and out. On the right side here, we have our UV map. Uh, you're basically not going to need this, so you can just uh, move it aside like that because you're going to be painting onto your model. In the uh, texture set list is basically where you hide uh, all the parts. So if you have your favorite or has like um, a hair or a clothing or anything, you basically are able to hide them uh, here. So that way you get to see just your model. So you have you select the body, you go into the layers and you want to hit on this bucket here. And that is going to create a fill layer. Now, as you can see, our avatar doesn't have any textures. So if you want to edit your own textures, you can simply go into your Unity, click on your avatar, extend the material, go ahead and find your body textures and simply just drag them in this side here. Unfind, you want to set it to texture. And here you can either do the current session or project. Uh, so if you want these this texture to just be in the current project, then you want to select the current project and then import. And now, as you can see, we see it right here. So by selecting the fill layer, you want to right click on an empty space, scroll down and then drag that texture into the base color. And now, as you can see, we have our body texture on the right side here in the fill layer. You want to right click and then add a paint layer. And you also want to make sure you have this uh, tool selected here because this is basically going to mirror your progress on the right side. Instead of texture here, type in basic. Scroll up and here is your basic hard brush and basic soft brush. I just usually use these, but you can play around with this and you, you can type in material. So you have in interesting materials. You can type in shape. So you have an interesting shape like a square triangle, etc. In this metal here, you can type uh, you can select it and then press on base color. And now your avatar is going to go into the this basically uh, kind of more toony look. Uh, because when you're in material, you see you have light. If you hold down shift and move right click, you move around and you see light and reflections. But you can eliminate that by basically selecting the base color. Uh, the way you would export your textures is you go file, export, and then you want to make sure you have all the things uh, selected of what you textured. Uh, you will select clear desktop with alpha, PNG, 4K, and plus transparent and export. And that's pretty much it. I hope that this tutorial helped you and uh, yeah, I'll see you around.